Hello guys, so let's get started with our send OTP method. In the last video, we completed our, our login screen UI. So the first thing that we're going to do here is to create the user module class. Okay, so let's head over to the lib here, right click, the new folder, and then this, let's name it as a models. Okay, so the first model here, let's right click new file let's create the user model dot that okay so this one uh, here now we are going to create uh, our user model for our chat application so let's say class user model and then now we can create the data that we need here so you can see that Copilot is already suggesting the data that we can put here, which is uh, fine. But uh, so it's saying ID, name, email, password, phone, address, image, and token. Okay. So we we'll need uh, some of these things, but uh, some of them we don't need them. So let's create our own. So let's just start string. We want to have a UID that is correct. And then let's close that. And then also we want to have a name that is correct. And then also we want to have a phone number. So that is correct. Next, we don't want to have an email. We want to have an image. Okay, so let's say string image, that one. And then next, uh, it's also again suggesting an email. We don't want to have uh, that email. So let's change that. So let's do string. Let's say maybe token. We might need this letter for authentic, for mean, for notifications. Okay. So that's it. And then next, uh, we might need a status. So this status, maybe let's change it to about uh, me. Okay. And then next after that, we can have uh, uh, the status we don't need. We we'll use this about me. So next let's put something like uh, last scene. We can save the time of this user of last scene online. And then next... Let's have the date we created, date we created account. So let's say string, let's say created at, like that. And then let's also have a boolean to check if we are online or not. So boo, this one let's say is online. That's it. And then now we can have a list of our friends. And then list of the friend requests that we send because in our chat application we are going to be able to send friend requests and then we are also going to be able to receive friend requests. Okay, so first let's create a list of the friends. So let's create a list. So this list will be the string, the string of the friends uh, UIDs. Okay, the friends uh, IDs okay so here we are going to say friend so instead of just friends we just we are going to say friends uids like that okay and then let's also have another list so the group ids for the group ids we don't need to have a list of the group ids because we are going to check to be checking according to how we are going to be reading the, the database okay so if we want we can store the group ids but even if we don't store this we can check them according to how we are reading the database okay so i'm not going to store these here i'm going to have the list of friends uh, friends friend request ids okay and then let's have another list so this so we can also have a list of blocked UIDs, the users that we, we don't want them to be SMSing us or to be texting us or through this application. We can have a list of 
the people that we've blocked okay so let's not have that let's have the sent uh, friend request so this is the list of the friend requests that we have sent and then this is a list of the friend requests that we are receiving okay and then this will be the list of our friends uid okay so that's going to be it and then now here let's create the constructor so you can see that copilot is already suggesting for us which is correct we are going with it so we only need to add the required in front here so let's do that required this okay so let's just copy that and then I put this in front of everything okay so we need to copy only this part then just paste it in front there 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 and there okay so this will be our constructor and then next let's uh, create a from map method okay so here let's wait for copilot so copilot already knows that we want to create the from map method so let's go on ahead and click tab so here is our from map method next let's create the to map so after this one where is it this is actually not the way we want to create this so let's remove this it's closing from here it can work like this but let's create the way we want it so here maybe let's have a comment from map okay and then let's see what copilot it has done the same so what we want to do is uh let's create first this what it has created and, and, and then let's remove everything here and then what we want to do here is to have that written statement like that so that we can easily read it we do it like that and then let's uh, return the user model okay like this and then now here we need to say factory okay so let's say factory like that then now like this is that's when we can easily read it let's bring it down and then bring it down bring it down like that the comma there so here we need to add this these figures i mean these this data coming from map okay so we're gonna do that and then after we close this let's also create the method the to map okay to map so let's wait for copilot to create you can see that now it's created the correct one according to what we want here okay so let's press tab so there is the to map method now these let's create constants okay we don't want to be rewriting this every time okay so what we can do is to create a constant class and then put this once there and then reusing them okay so what we can do is under utility here we can do you can either put them here under utility or just here on the lib we can right click and then create a new file then let's name this as constants okay constants dot dot so here we are going to be putting all the constants keywords okay so let's say class constants and then let's create our constants here so let's start with a static okay so copilot you can see that already it is suggesting what we can need here in the application so let's go on ahead and press tab and see if we need all of these okay so these are the constants that it has suggested you can see flutter login ui login logging so all these things but uh, i don't think we need most of these so let's just create start creating our own and then it will follow along with us 
So the first one we want to be the UID, which will be a UID. So once that I have put this, Copilot will know now that I want to create the constants for. So let me close all of these and then bring up the user model. Okay. So Copilot, once I have created this, it will know that I will need constants for all of these. Okay. So you will see it will create. So now if we come down here, you can see that now it knows that I will need the name then here so let's just let it do everything here that's how it will help it will help us to code faster static const and then we have a string and then let's see if it was it still hasn't loaded what's next here after image we have token okay so let's say token so token that will be equal to token okay next looks like it can continue now about me last scene created that is online friends uid friend request uid friend uh, request send friend request uid so that was the last one you've seen that we have created all of these con constants and then we can go back to the user model here now instead of doing it like this or using this we are going to call this map and then at the field called constants dot uh, uid okay so if this is empty we are going to have an empty string like that okay so we can do the same even here we're going to say map so copilot is going to assist us to do this faster again map it's going to assist us again map it's going to assist us so here we can get the list a uh, list and then put it here or we get an empty list but uh, just to avoid the errors here let's change this code let's get the list like this list and then in the bracket we are going to say uh, the, uh, this will be a list of string and then we are going to get it dot from json okay from i mean i mean not json from now we we'll put it inside there dot map and then at the field called uh, constant dot uh, this friends friends uids and then if this list is uh, empty we are, we are going to put this okay so that's it and then this all of this needs to be inside this bracket so let's remove the bracket from here then let's put it here okay like that so we'll do the same even here once we just type that copilot will know what we want okay so even here let's type uh, list and then we get what we want okay so the uh, from map is done let's do it here so here instead of this we only simply need to call this inside here like this constant dot uid let's paste that even here we can call constant dot name something that happens here constant dot phone number so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna copy this and paste it here and change this to image great so now our user model class is done so this is what we're going to give it if you need to give it more data you guys can do that okay so now let's have a user model like this and then that's it about the user model let's close it 
we can go ahead and save okay and then the constant class also we can close it for now 